Oh my god. Look at this. Is that you? Yeah. This is not gonna work. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Oh no. It didn't it didn't work out. It didn't work out. It just it just didn't. Hi guys, it's Bess. Welcome back, welcome to my channel if you're new. In today's video, I'm super excited. I previously did a Shein Big New Suit haul and it didn't go as planned. I ordered some more and I'm like, maybe now since I know some stuff from that video, hopefully it'll be better. I'll link my sizes and these bathing suits down below. Let me know if you guys have any questions or anything like that. I will be telling you guys their prices, their size and everything. So make sure you stay tuned. There's a total of five bathing suits and I ranked them from favorite to least favorite. I tried them on before I did the whole haul. And then when I had them on, I was like, okay, how should I rank them now? I'll show you guys favorite to least favorite. Make sure you guys stick to the end because the last one is a, a mess. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. What do you guys want to see more from my channel? We're almost at 1K subscribers and we're going to keep growing. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not. Make sure you like and comment and let's get started. The first one we're starting with is a leopard bikini set. It was in the size extra large and it was $12. One of the main things I love about this bathing suit was how high waisted it was and it was extremely stretchy. The color and pattern combo is not one that I've really seen like that. I thought it was really pretty and it was my favorite. The girls felt supported. They felt nice, they felt great. I feel like they could have been situated better but I felt the bathing suit did the most it possibly could for my curls. It didn't have any extra padding or anything like that, but it was good if they felt supported it went around the neck. And at least the bottom of it, I wasn't slipping out like I am in most Shein bathing suits. So I really liked this bathing suit and I felt it was my favorite out of all of them. Number two, which if I was to do this over, I'm not gonna lie. This one wouldn't be my second, it'll probably be like my third. But the following one, oh shit, this just spilled. The following one is a light greenish, light greenish bodysuit. It has some crisscross applesauce situation at the front. When I first saw it, I was like, oh, this is so nice. It looks so great. But when I tried it on, it has like some extra flap from the side. And I'm like, maybe I could just tuck it in, move it somewhere, but no. It didn't, it didn't work out. It didn't work out. It just, it just didn't. This bathing suit, I definitely feel like would look better for somebody who has a longer torso. My torso, like, I barely got one, like a torso, like here. It's not that big. It's a little chubby, but it's not that long, you know? So I didn't feel like somebody with a longer torso would look way better on. But me, I just kind of look like a, like a little ball in this one. It's like the idea of it is nice but the execution was the problem for example the boob situation the girls needed a lot more support than that i was struggling with this one struggling jesus oh my 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 the girls did not want to chill in this bathing suit one of the positives about it was that it was really really stretchy i feel like it's really nice it really looks good but i feel like you have to have a longer torso for this bathing suit of me i'm, I'm 4 11 it's, it's just not gonna work out. Number three pleasantly surprised me. It is a orange bikini. The middle of it has some ruching and it has two straps on the side that go around kind of like a bra situation. I feel the color was really vibrant. It looks really, really good. My favorite thing of this baby suit has to be the fact that it has the straps at the bottom that go like you could tie it around your waist and stuff. I love that. I feel like it's really versatile. You can put it high, you can put it low, you can wrap it around in different ways. I feel like having a bottom like that is really important and I like that this one had it. This one was $12 and it was a size extra large. The only thing I really didn't like was that I was boobage slippage at the bottom. My tits was like sinking, coming out. But the base wasn't bad, it was comfortable. I liked it. If I could redo the rankings, I would put this one second, definitely. 
Next up, second to last, also surprised me. It is a blue snakeskin bikini. This one was in a size large, the smallest of all of them, and it was $12. This bathing suit is the definition of risque. When I took it out of the packaging, I was like, oh my goodness, like, can I wear this all in public? Okay, oh no. Oh my goodness. There was major slippage in this one, but once I got the girls in their places, it really felt comfortable and it felt fine. Just like the first one, I felt the color and pattern combo was really, really pretty. It looked really, really good to just be $12. When I say it was risque, I really mean that it was super out there. It was like showing a lot and I was like, mm, oh, how are the girls gonna do in this? I really like that the person or the people who designed this bathing suit really kept in mind how risky the top is. I'm sorry. Risque. The top is, and really went subtle with the bottom. They made it high-waisted, they didn't make it as cheeky, they made it so like people won't like cover their kid's eyes when you're walking past them in the pool or whatever. I really like that they kept this in mind because with the little horn detail at the front and the slippage at the bottom and the slippage in the middle, the slippage at the top, it's just way too much going on. So I'm really glad that the people who designed this bathing suit had that in mind and were conscious of like, hey, maybe we should let these people walk around naked all the time. So I like that they really thought about that. I rated it so low because it, I just feel like it didn't flatter me at all. It did take a lot to get my situation situated. I just really like the color of it. The plan was cute, execution was not that good. Last of them is a black bathing suit. It's a two piece. It is in the size extra large and it is $13. All right, okay, all right. My issue with this bathing suit is from afar, it don't look that bad. They're like, okay, we can, we can deal with it. But when you get closer, at least like within like looking distance, you can see this one is a hot mess. This bathing suit did not cover much at all. <laughs> I love the bathing suit as a whole, like I stated from like afar. I rated this one the last because it gave me the most trouble and made it the most difficult for me to put on and for me to wear. And I was scared I was gonna get like a boob sickness from it. It was super tight and it was an issue. Oh my God. Excuse my hair from these clips. Um, I was just trying it on, I didn't mean to film. Oh my God. <laughs> this is like, this is not. Yeah, this is not gonna work. <laughs> oh my goodness. All in all, I really feel like they were really pretty. A lot of them were true to what they say they're gonna do, true to what they look like. But I just feel like it's 2020 and I understand that essentially these are China-based companies who are making these bathing suits, designing these bathing suits or whatever the case may be. But I feel like enough time has passed the average cup size is not a b anymore people are getting bigger things change and i just feel like these companies don't have girls with bigger assets and stuff in mind they are not keeping larger girls in mind they're not keeping their consumers in mind some of these bathing suits they could they're gonna fit somebody who's a little bit smaller who's a little bit whatever but as you know as the sizes get bigger Consider putting in a little wiring to boost that bitch up. Consider making the fabric different types so the girls could feel more supported. Consider making the backs of it a little bit wider for the girls who don't want to have everything out. I just feel like from me shopping at Shein, it's like I get an extra large and it's just like it doesn't fit sometimes and the proportions are off and I just feel like it's not their fault, of course not. But I just feel like this fashion thing as a whole just to, to keep in mind the girls who are a little bit bigger in these these areas. And maybe sell things separately, like the top here and the bottom, different size. So that's just how I feel. This is basically part two of my baby suit try on haul. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think down below. Let me know how you guys are doing. Don't forget to add me on Instagram, Snapchat. I made a TikTok, I only have like three videos. 
But make sure you guys add me on there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.